Hi there curry fans, it's Julian from The Secret to That Takeaway Curry Taste and spring is finally here, well hopefully it'll be here to stay but you never know here in the UK do you? I was inspired to uh, create for you uh, a recipe, a real spring treat of a curry, healthy curry, nice and light, very delicious, incorporating some spring ingredients uh, that I'm sure you're going to love. I've had a lot of requests for vegetarian and more healthier options and let's face it all of us know that the takeaway style of curry isn't necessarily the health healthiest options. While there are certain healthy ingredients in there sometimes it can be just a little bit too much fat a little bit too much oil so i'm going to give you a recipe that for the health conscious those of you on a diet want to lose a little bit of weight springs here you want to feel good you're really going to love this recipe so let's just show you the ingredients that we've got okay here we have our mushrooms these are closed cat mushrooms we've got 280 grams so this recipe is going to serve about three to four people so if you love mushrooms you're going to love this curry and a, a lot of the flavour that comes uh, into this curry comes out of the mushrooms. So there's a, our mushroom. We have our leek. We've got one large leek here that's been finely sliced and I've used all the leek. I've used the green part of the leek as well because you'll find a lot of the flavour in the leek is in the green part. Leeks are really really good for you. They're the same family as garlic and onions and uh, full of vitamin A, folic acid really really good healthy uh, food and, and, and abundant at this time of year. We have one medium red onion uh, finely sliced and uh, we've used the red onion for its sweetness as a nice characteristic to this dish and where would a spring dish be without spring onions? We've got about five spring onions and we're just going to chop them very finely and we're going to garnish the dish just towards the end of the cooking stage with our spring onions. Okay our spices what we've got here is got a heat teaspoon of cumin powder, we've got a heat teaspoonful of coriander powder, we've got half a teaspoonful of cumin seeds, half a teaspoonful of turmeric, uh, half a teaspoonful of good quality chili powder, not extra hot, just nice quality chili powder that, that uh, will add nice flavour. Uh, we've got one jalapeno pepper, these are not very hot these peppers so uh, we've left the seeds in they'll just add a nice flavor to that if you want to use a hotter chili feel free to do that but we're not going for for mega heat with this dish and then we've got half a teaspoonful uh, or no sorry but about, yeah about half to three quarters of a teaspoonful of garlic and about the same amount of ginger roughly chopped and we've got a coconut thing going on with this curry and we're going to use pure coconut oil as opposed to ghee or anything else now just something interesting about coconut oil it's uh, it's actually a saturated fat but it's one of the healthy saturated fats in fact coconut oil is considered a superfood and if you've got any time to do a bit of research just do a little bit of research on coconut oil but it is really really good for you so we're going to use about a dessert spoon amount in our curry which is just a little bit more than a tablespoon about a tablespoon and a half and that only equates to about 150 calories so this is a low calorie low fat dish really really healthy so that's our fat and then this final ingredient that we're just going to add in to get a nice creamy delicious sauce it's coconut cream we're going to put in just less than 100 ml to, ha to add a nice texture to our green mushroom curry and um, it's, uh, it's not too high in fat. You're probably looking at about 150 calories for this total amount added into the curry. Again, divided by four people, it is a low fat, healthy option. So let's go inside and let's cook the curry. Okay, so what we've got here is a large non-stick pan. Now, I know that when it comes to the restaurant style of curry, cooking base gravy, um, I recommend an aluminium pan so that you burn the sauce but this is a completely different thing what we're trying to do is cook with little oil here and therefore a non-stick -stick pan is ideal because we don't want our ingredients to stick and that's the beauty of a good non-stick pan is you can cook with very very little oil and, uh, and get a great result so we've got a large um, non-stick pan we've got our coconut oil just about a dessert spoon heating up in there what we're going to add in now is just the uh, cumin seeds just to um, cook them in the oil and so that they release their flavors and 
and you just want to cook these just just for about just over half a minute not too long but just to get rid of that raw flavor and for the, the seeds to release their oil uh, sorry their, their, their oils yeah their flavors into the the oil we're also going to add in at this stage just break them open a little bit your cardamom your green cardamom just crack the shells open into there and then we'll add in our ginger garlic and green chili We'll just cook these. We don't want to brown the garlic too much. We don't want to burn it either, so just, just cook that for just about half a minute. That'll do. And then in with our spices. Just give them a quick stir. Just toast them off. We'll just re smell them releasing their oils and then just over half a minute in with our red onions and in with our leek just stir that in the same sulfur compounds that are in garlic and onions are in leeks too making them a really healthy food. One that we don't really make a lot of use of, I think sometimes uh, in curries, but it really works well with this dish. So just mix all your spices, garlic and chili and everything in with the leeks. And uh, we'll just fry that off just for a couple of minutes. Just let it wilt down. Uh, some of the moisture will come out of the onions and the leek and um, and, and that'll soften. So we'll come back to that in about two minutes. So it's been about four minutes and uh, you can see that the mushrooms are nicely coated with the spices and uh, they're still quite firm. Uh, they've not gone all dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some water I'm just going to add in about a mug full of water at this stage. Now you can have this curry as thick or as thin as you like it, but uh, I find it particularly nice when it's quite a thin sauce. And if you have it with rice, then it, uh, it saturates your rice with this delicious, um, flavorful, really, um, I don't know how to describe it really, but with a, a real earthy taste to it. And, um, and that's what makes your rice taste so good. So I tend to have it a little bit thinner. So I've just poured that water in there. It was boiling water. And I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. We've been cooking on about medium to high heat. We're gonna turn it up a little bit higher, just to return that to boil. And I'm gonna cook that now, probably for about five or six minutes. Bring it to a simmer, um, and then just keep it sort of on, on a, a nice, gentle simmer for about five, to six minutes so all those flavors combine and then we were looking at finishing off the dish so we'll come back once we've done that okay so it's been about seven maybe eight minutes and it'll all depend on your cooker and the heat that you're cooking at but really what you're looking to achieve is a softening of the leeks and the onions um, and your sauce is still quite watery it's, it's not evaporated away which is what we want so at this stage we're going to add in our coconut cream as i say just about a bit less than 100 ml it's just less than uh, um, just over a third of that container really and then we just stir that in and this will give a real delicious flavor to your curry it really will and uh, we'll just allow that now we've sort of brought the heat down 
it was on a sort of fairly uh, medium simmer there. We're going to bring that heat down to a low heat and a low simmer now and we'll probably cook this for another seven or eight minutes uh, until we get the desired consistency and the leeks and the onions have disappeared uh, more or less into the sauce and then we'll be ready to serve it up. So there we have it, our delicious spring green mushroom curry. It really is a delicious curry and even if you're not a vegetarian and you like your meat curries, make this one because the texture of the mushrooms uh, in a curry make for a really delicious satisfying dish. So try this. Well thanks for watching today, hope you enjoyed that recipe and more importantly I hope you enjoy making it yourself in your own kitchen. Have a go, it really is an easy, quick, delicious and more importantly healthy curry so you want to try that one. Now if you're interested in healthier dishes, uh, perhaps improving your health, losing weight or just having more energy then I'm sure you'll be interested to learn that I'm launching a brand new YouTube channel in July called You Are What You Eat. Well the name of that channel really uh, says it all but, but what it's about really is uh, exploring the connection between the food we eat and the health we enjoy or perhaps lack of health. So uh, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in a healthy way to lose weight um, and uh, more healthier options and, and just, just exploring that subject in general, then I'm sure you're gonna love that brand new channel that I'm launching. If you've perhaps landed on this channel and on this video for the first time, then why not click the subscribe button and you'll be alerted to more videos as we make them on this channel and obviously information about my new channel coming soon. So thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up and see you next time.